Okay, so you've been learning from Kelly about how to write a great essay. And one of the most important parts of your essay is going to be coming up with ideas and then organizing your ideas. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on where you can get your ideas for these essays. A lot of people, when I sit down with them, they'll look at me and they'll go, I can't think of anything. Hold on. Okay, because even if you're not sure, there's other levels. So look at this real fast. So when you're coming up with ideas for the essay, check this out. There's different levels of knowledge. First, there's the circle of your experience, okay, and what you know, which is very important. Remember, you're writing an essay about your opinion, okay? Next level out, the people that I know. These are going to be your friends and your family. Um, maybe your sister's boyfriend's ex-girlfriend's cousin? Yeah, anyways, so it's going to be people that you know, all right? And then the next level out is going to be the whole wide world. So literally, there's no limits. Can you use Mars? No, just the world. Okay, all right, so let's take this down. So let's say you have to write an essay regarding your opinion about the survival of newspapers. Okay, so first of all, start out with the things that you know. Start out with um, freedom of the press or, or things that you experience. Maybe you worked on a school newspaper before. Then take this up to the next level. Okay, think about perhaps the things that your friends or your family knows, okay, and the experience that they have with it. Then, if you can't think of anything there, think about famous people, okay? Now, I wouldn't necessarily use Lindsay Lohan for any of your examples. She's not very creditable, okay? Typically, you're going to be using more successful famous people. Yeah, I know, that's a slam. Okay, <laughs> last of all, we've got um, culture. Okay, now this one, yes, you can sometimes use really good quality movies, not Transformers. Um, literature, okay, not the comic books. We're thinking more along the lines of um, Hamlet. Okay, it's thinking of things that maybe you read in your English class in high school. All right, or even history. Yeah, I know history, but you can use it, all right? So um, a good example when you're talking about the history, Holocaust, okay? That always gives you major points. All righty then. Well, anyway, so what we're going to do next is we're going to actually walk through pre-writing using these different levels, okay? All right.